Homelink friends. We get to do a really fun craft today. It's a Christmas winter craft, which is some of my favorite ones to do. So this is what it looks like. You're gonna do a snowman project, super cute. So you're gonna need your blue paper out of your bag. You're gonna need construction paper in black, probably red, orange, brown, uh, you'll need some glue, either a glue stick or some Elmer's glue, a pair of scissors, and you might need a pencil. And also, your mom and dad, I printed or I sent a uh, attached a copy of some stencils in this email. So um, your mom or dad or somebody can print this for you, and then you can cut these out and use them. It looks like this. It's just a page of... Uh, pieces you're going to use to make the snowman. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take uh, your white paper that has your stencils on it and across the bottom you're going to write a wavy line. See how I did this? Kind of like a rolling hill. And then I'm going to cut that and that's going to be the snow on the bottom of my paper. So I'm going to glue that on the bottom of my blue paper so it looks like the snow is on the ground. Goes right across the bottom here. I'll show you what this looks like. So see now I have my the snow across the bottom that my snowman is going to sit on, okay? Next, I'm going to take my three circles that I have, and I'm either gonna cut them out on the white paper or I can use them as a stencil. So either way, you'll cut those three out and then you'll glue the biggest one on bottom, then the medium sized one, and then the smallest one on top. Now if you see on mine, they're overlapping a little bit. So see how I put the medium one a little bit on top of the biggest one and same with the head. You can't see that because of the scarf, but. So you would cut your circles out and then glue those on. Now on your stencil paper, you have a picture like this, which is the hat. So you would cut this out, lay it on top of a black piece of paper, trace around it with your pencil, and then you'll cut out a hat. So that will be your frosty hat. Next, you're gonna cut these twig arms out and use it as a stencil. And you'll trace this on brown paper. And then you'll cut those out. And those will be glued under the middle section of your snowman. Okay, and you'll wanna slip them underneath a little bit. See how I glued this underneath the circle? I did that on both sides. Okay, so then you'll have his arms, his body, and his hat cut out. Now I added a scarf because I thought it was really cute. So I took a long piece of red. Now you could do this with green or blue or another color if you have it, you want to do something different. Um, and I measured the width of his neck. So I took my scarf and figured out about how wide his neck was, okay? Then I took my scarf and I bent it so it looks like this. So if you bend it, so it looks almost like the number seven, doesn't it? Now, if you want your scarf short, like mine was, then I cut half of this off and then I glued it back on next to the other section. So I'll put a little glue on here and I glued it right like that. So it's like my scarf has two parts hanging off to it. 
Now I gave my scarf a little flanged end. How you do that, you make several skinny, short cuts on the end of your construction paper. So if you see this, see how that looks now? It looks like the end of a scarf, okay? So when I glue this on, I kind of bend those out a little bit so you can see that. So that's cute, isn't it? And you could do that with a patterned paper or wrapping paper. If you have some cute wrapping paper would be really cute. Um, on your black paper, you're also gonna draw five little circles. So two of them are for the eyes, three are for the coal and the buttons. So uh, I use those on the black paper. And then that's my dog, he's participating. And then I did a little black smile that I cut out. I drew that all on my black construction paper and cut that out. The last thing you'll need uh, to do is cut out a little carrot nose. So this is what mine looks like. Uh, you can make it like a little triangle. Um, and just cut it out, glue it on kind of sideways, which is what I did. And if you wanna add some extra details that might make this really cute. So I put a little red strip here to match, uh, to go above on his hat. Um, I grabbed some um, cotton balls. So you could take these, if you have some at home, kind of pull them apart. And you could glue them across the bottom to make it look like snow. Uh, another thing you can use is a, I have a white, pencil or crayon and draw little snowflakes like it's snowing in your picture and how you make a snowflake you make an x i'll show you so here's an x and then you put another line through it and it looks like a little snowflake And you can add as many of those as you want. You could add glitter to this, because uh, sometimes snow looks kind of glittery. Um, so that's the project for today. I think I showed you everything. It's really cute, super fun. You can hang this up in your window, on your wall. It's a really cute decoration. I like this one a lot. I've done this one before. A lot of kids really like this. So happy crafting. I hope you enjoy this. Have a great afternoon. See you next time.